Hello, I'm Carol Marie of Anisgate Ministries, Anisgate International, and I have the privilege of interviewing my mom, Lillian Hart, and she does Widow's Ministry and Grief Recovery here in Big Bear, um, California, Big Bear City and Big Bear um, area. And so it's a joy to interview you, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> so I've been a widow almost 16 years. You've been a widow how many years? 12. 12. And then Starley, our, my daughter, your granddaughter, even beat us at that. She, she was widowed before us. So yeah. we've been into widow's ministry for a while, haven't yes, we? Yeah. We have. And you've always had a heart for ministry. You've always taught us in raising kids how to love people of all different needs and that's a wonderful gift that you've given so how many years were you married to dad we were married 60 years lacking three weeks yeah and i i remember we went shopping dad sent us on a errand to go get you a pretty ring for uh -huh. your wedding anniversary and yeah. we went early because he kind of knew it might uh -huh. be soon well 60 years is a diamond Oh, anniversary, and so I got a new diamond. All right. Well, that's wonderful. And then, um, so that was how long ago? You've been a widow, 12, 12. years. Uh -huh. And then you moved up to Big Bear, and you've uh -huh. been working with um, individuals up here. Yes. Uh huh. I remember when you first were starting a widow's ministry, <laughs> and you called it Widow's Might, M-I-G-H-T. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I said, Mom, is that because... You're mighty women of power and faith. And you said, no. All these years, we took care of our husbands and we took care of our kids. And now if they ask us to do something, we might and we might not. <laughs> <laughs> so we called your widow's groups the might and the might nots. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> so you have a grief recovery group. Mm -hmm. I've been doing that nine years. This. Ladies just need someone to listen and come alongside and love on them and know that you care and you understand. You know what, that, that's really healing, isn't it? Yes, uh -huh. Just being able to talk and tell your story and, mm -hmm. and have somebody listen to you and know that they really do understand and can empathize mm -hmm. with you. Right. Uh -huh. And there's many of them that just keep coming over and over again. And, and I asked them why, and they said, well, we want to get the hugs from Lillian. <laughs> you know, we all need um, that loving touch, don't yes, we? Uh -huh. And when you're by yourself, whether it's through death of spouse or it's through divorce or circumstance, you know, we all need to have somebody that cares about us. Yes, uh -huh. So that's good. And so then recently we got an Anna's Gate Hugs group going up here yes, in Big uh -huh. Bear. Uh-huh. And that's exciting, and you have a monthly meeting. So. Yes, uh -huh. we have had guest speakers, a mm -hmm. businessman, and we have looked for needs that the women may need and found helps that would come and help them, like carry in their firewood or oh. uh, uh, shovel the berm of the snow that the snow plowers leave across their driveway and they can't get out. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, and um, so we have a list of people that will come and do that. That's good. We have in in Knoxville, Tennessee, we have a group called the Nehemiah Project. Mm -hmm. And they'll help with things like that, too. And, mm -hmm. and God blesses people when they bless the widow. Yes. And then the business men and women, mm -hmm. they are really getting blessed as well. Yes. Uh -huh. So just share a little bit about what is it that you have found personally that was the most rewarding for you? Just seeing oh, uh, the women... <clears throat> um, just come out of their grief, the darkness, the gloom, the confusion, and seeing that they have hope, watching the hope come into their face, and knowing that they're loved and someone cares and will show them a way to get out of this, this fog mm -hmm. and into a... Uh, uh, a uh, useful life again. I think that's my greatest joy, Mom, is, is when you share the Word of God and you show mm -hmm. that 
God has a plan for us, yes. and that He didn't do this to harm us, but uh -huh. He has a hope and a future for right, us. Right. And as we move people through healing uh -huh. and into a place of purpose and hope, mm -hmm. oh, there's nothing like it, is it? That's, That's the right. most wonderful experience in the uh -huh. world is seeing hope come to people. Yes. Mm -hmm. I spoke at your um, grief recovery group this last week and shared the 10 steps of moving out of fog into mm -hmm. the favor of God. And so mm -hmm. we're going to put that together as a little booklet for individuals. But I appreciate you and what you're doing up mm -hmm. here in Big Bear, California, and how you're being a light. Mm -hmm. Even at 89? I'm 89. 89 uh -huh. years young. Yeah. And you... Uh -huh. You zip all over the place in your car, and you teach Bible study and uh -huh. help with the hugs, oh, group. The hugs uh, widows group, as uh -huh. well as doing the grief recovery. That's uh -huh. I think that's what keeps you young, because uh -huh, you probably. have purpose. I don't have time to grow old. No, no, <laughs> and I think I get that from you. <laughs> so this is Carol Marie and Lillian Hart. Wishing you a blessed time and that there's light at the end of the tunnel and, and it's, it's not, not a train. A train. <laughs>